everyone welcome back to my channel today we are talking about hot yoga and trust me when i say hot it is hot it was founded in 1972 by bikram chowdhury i'm not sure how you say his name but he is from india and he used to teach yoga in Japan and what he would do was he had a very cold yoga studio so he used to use space warmers to heat it up and he realized that by heating the space that the yoga students were practicing in they were actually becoming a lot more flexible and it was a lot easier for them to move around in the heat. So a lot of people don't really know what hot yoga is and I think there's a lot of misinformation that's been spread about it. So the type of yoga that's most popular, especially when people refer to hot yoga, is Bikram yoga. So that's the yoga that was started by Bikram. It consists of a 90 minute yoga class in which the room is heated to about 104 degrees Fahrenheit and about 40% humidity. So when you are in the hot yoga room, you are sweating like crazy. And the whole idea is that by sweating this much, you are detoxifying the body and losing weight and they say that it has a ton of health benefits to it. I'm going to be talking about some of the misconceptions about hot yoga, what I personally think about hot yoga, and I will show you a little bit of the studio that I go to. First of all, before I get started, I want to let you know that since it is such a hot and humid room, according to the Mayo Clinic, if you have a risk of heart disease or if you're predisposed to dehydration or heat stroke or things like that, you really should consult a doctor before partaking in hot yoga because it might not be the best thing for you. That being said, I think if it is safe for you to try hot yoga, it is an interesting thing to try and it would be great to just try it once and decide if you personally like it or not. So. Before you go to your first hot yoga class, it is so, so important that you drink a ton of water before your first class. They also recommend that you come to class in a fasted state, so this isn't possible for everyone. I would recommend that you don't eat like three to four hours before you go to class. That's kind of my rule of thumb. So if I am going to a noon class, I'll eat my breakfast and stop eating at like 8.30 in the morning, just so that you go on kind of an empty stomach because a lot of people tend to get nauseous or dizzy when they do their classes, especially the first class, because the body is not used to being in such a hot environment. If you're deciding what to wear for class, a lot of people go into class just wear, like women will wear a sports bra and shorts and men usually will just wear a pair of shorts. I would not recommend wearing like long pants or a long shirt or a sweatshirt or anything like that for your first class because you don't even understand how much you're about to sweat. Like the first class, you are going to sweat buckets. Like it, it's insane. So I would highly recommend just wearing the least amount of clothing that you really feel comfortable in. And you should also bring your mat, so just a yoga mat. And some studios will let you borrow one for the first day or something like that if you don't have your own yoga mat. But you should bring a mat, a large towel that's gonna go over your mat to collect all of your sweat, and then a smaller towel that you can kind of keep on the side just for your face if you start to get sweat beating into your eyes, which will happen. <laughs> So that's always fun, but you just want to make sure that you have enough towels to dry yourself off enough that you're not like slipping and sliding and getting sweat all in your eyes and everything. Definitely make sure you also bring with you some change of clothes for afterwards because after that class is over, you are not going to want to stay in the clothes that you're in. You are going to want to hit the shower right away. So my yoga studio has a shower, which I'm very lucky, but usually I don't have time to take a full shower right after class. I just want to get home. So I will bring some body wipes or facial wipes and I kind of just wipe myself down and then put on a change of clothes so that I can shower once I get home. During class, you're gonna receive a lot of instruction from the teachers about what to do, especially when you're going to be paying attention to your breathing, which is very important. Like I said before, there's a 90 minute class the first hour of that 90 minutes is devoted to standing stretches. So for a whole hour, you're going to be doing standing poses that require a lot of different muscles in your body to be active. And that's probably where you're gonna sweat the most, you're gonna get the most cardio benefits, and that's really where your workout comes from. 
And then the last 30 minutes of class is seated on the ground, more stretching type poses. You're not using as many muscle groups as you did before, but it's definitely still difficult. It's also very possible that during your first class or even your second, your third, your 40th class, you might feel a point where you feel really, really dizzy or nauseous and you start to spin a little bit and it's just your body adjusting to the hot temperature and it's very normal for that to happen. So if you really, really feel the need to, it's totally okay to just sit down on your knees and kind of breathe for a little while and let your body readjust to the climate. But if you start feeling that way, make sure that you're not standing up or sitting down too quickly because that could make you a lot dizzier and that just wouldn't be good. They also recommend that you try as hard as you can to stay physically in the classroom throughout the whole class. They don't really want you leaving the class at all because then your body's not going to adjust to the temperature and get the full benefits from the class. Now that I've kind of explained what to do before you come to class and then kind of what you're gonna be doing during class or at least how to cope with some symptoms that you might experience, I want to talk about the proposed benefits. If you ask a hot yoga instructor what are the benefits of hot yoga, they are going to tell you pretty much everything under the sun. They say it'll help your immune system, it'll detoxify your body, chronic pain, arthritis, your kidneys, your blood circulation, your lymphatic system, you'll have clearer skin, you'll lose weight. It's, it's like the benefits are never ending from hot yoga. Now, obviously, realistically, it's not possible for one thing to cure all of those different things. But one specific thing I want to address is the claim that yoga will detoxify your body and that it will lead to weight loss. Right now in today's culture, especially in the health and wellness community, there's this whole idea about detoxifying and people will do this with yoga or with charcoal or with juice cleanses or just detoxing cleanses in general. Everybody wants to go on a cleanse. Realistically, science does not support these cleanses or these detoxes because there aren't as many toxins in your body as you think they are, and the ones that are actually really going to harm your body, your liver is perfectly capable and well-equipped to handle these toxins. That's literally what your liver is for. I don't think that it's really accurate to say that certain practices like this will detoxify your body and that's good for you but by sweating that much you are getting good exercise so you are getting exercise out of this is it actually detoxifying your body probably not the other thing is weight loss so people will say oh you could drop so many pounds by losing weight from this well a lot of the weight that you're losing in hot yoga is water weight and we know that our body is made almost completely of water so when you're sweating out that much of course you're gonna lose a couple pounds right after class but then as soon as you start to rehydrate your body with fluids, all of that weight will come back. So like I said before, it is exercise and you will lose weight by continually doing exercise and eating a healthy diet, but it's not gonna be this magical cure to drop like 50 pounds just from sweating out all the water in your body. And anyways, you really should be rehydrating after class. You shouldn't be sweating it all out and then just leaving that out of your body. So like being a great workout, which is something that I do think hot yoga is, there also are some true real benefits to it. For people who can't do a lot of high impact cardio, like running or things like that, hot yoga is a great alternative because your heart rate gets up so high. Usually in one class of 90 minutes, I'll burn from about 600 to 800 calories, which is a lot of calories. And it is a really good workout and you feel a lot more energized after you go to class. It also improves your flexibility. So I've noticed personally, since I started doing hot yoga a couple weeks ago, my flexibility has increased enormously. I feel a lot more strong and that my muscles are more equipped to handle my weightlifting. I think it could help increase your flexibility and your strength in all different aspects of working out. And lastly, it could also help with your mental strength because Hot yoga really is kind of a mental game. You have to break through a lot of barriers in your mind to be able to do some of the exercises and stretches to their fullest, to your fullest capacity. But during yoga, I think it's a really good time to just kind of reflect or just to not think at all and relax. And I know that a lot of studios will prohibit people bringing their phones, smartwatches in there, just because it is a time to step away from technology and really be 
one with your body. Mental strength is a huge aspect of this. I think that it helps improve your focus because you really have to focus on the stretch that you're doing, especially the ones where it's really hard to balance and you can kind of get that mental clarity that you are searching for. So other than that, if you have any questions about hot yoga, I know this was a pretty long video, but I wanted to really dive into it and tell you all of the different aspects about it. I hope that after watching this, you'd be intrigued about trying it yourself. I love hot yoga and I'm going to keep trying to do it once a week for as long as I'm home. And other than that, don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I'm really trying to grow my channel and spread my message about health and wellness and living a healthy lifestyle. So until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.